3D printing a nuclear core, how dairy farms are automating, and the Innovate for Impact design challenge. All this and more in today's episode of Exploration into Technology. Welcome to Exploration into Technology. This week in engineering, 3D printing is going nuclear. The design and materials of nuclear reactors haven't changed much since the 1950s, never mind that we have only seen a few new ones in recent decades. Frustrated by the cost and time it takes to build a reactor, a team at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory wanted to do things in a radically different way. They are following a data-driven approach to build a 3D printed nuclear reactor core prototype that could enable nuclear plants to run more efficiently. The core is made of silicone carbide, a material that was costly to machine due to its hardness, but recent advances in additive technologies have allowed the ceramic to be 3D printed. What's even better is that by building the reactor layer by layer, sensors can also be embedded in it. That will allow a nuclear plant to run far more efficiently. Speaking of efficiency, robots are now being used increasingly to introduce flexibility and stability into the farming industry. The agricultural sector has faced several problems in recent years, including food waste and labor shortages. These challenges have only gotten worse during the COVID-19 pandemic. In response, the industry has turned to automation as a solution. According to Ag Funder's 2020 Farm Tech Investing Report, Farm Tech startups raised $4.7 billion in 2019. One of these startups is Iron Ox, which has built an automated greenhouse to grow vegetables hydroponically all year round. Another startup, Root AI, uses advanced artificial intelligence to automate the picking of delicate fruits. Automation is not only limited to produce farming, however. Netherlands-based Lely uses automation and AI allowing cows to feed and milk themselves. Ultimately, automation in agriculture can provide greater and smarter control to farmers. In a world struggling to feed many, the ability to produce sustainable food for all is critical. 62% of organizations with the Internet of Things capabilities are implementing digital twins, according to the 2019 Gartner IoT Implementation Survey. Recent global disruptions have proven that data-driven manufacturing organizations are increasing their competitive edge. And on November 11th and 12th, experts from Northrop Grumman, Ford, Booz Allen Hamilton, Simmons Energy, Newport News Shipbuilding, NIST, NASA, and more will share insights on their progress towards digitization and the proven strategies that are delivering results at ASME's Digital Twin Summit. This event will be virtual and is set to showcase why digital manufacturing is critical to future competitiveness and the steps organizations need to take to get started today. Collaborate with subject matter experts and industry peers who are implementing a digital first vision across their product life cycles. Registration for this event is now open. In 2015, the 193 countries of the United Nations adopted 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, to transform global development efforts by 2030. This year, Siemens, in collaboration with Engineering for Change, launched the Innovate for Impact Design Challenge. This challenge offered two tracks aligned with corresponding SDGs. The Zero Hunger Track focused on a new technology reducing post-harvest losses in farms and the food delivery chain. While the Clean Water Track focused on an affordable technology for the desalination of brackish water. The challenge received interest from 34 countries and over 43 universities, resulting in 220 design submissions with more than 23,000 total participants. Judging these entries was a team of multidisciplinary judges and fellows from around the world with a collective 222 years of experience in water and agriculture. On September 15th, the two winning teams were announced in a virtual awards event. Opening remarks from Barbara Humpton, CEO of Siemens USA, and Tom Constabile, ASME Executive Director and CEO, were followed by mindful conversation between hosts, expert judges, and the recipients. Taking the prize for the Zero Hunger category, the EcoLife Food Team introduced a cold room made of locally sourced materials and recycled elements called the EcoLife Cold Room. Their design, targeting communities in central and southern Uganda, lessens crop loss for rural farmers 
by reducing poor handling and storage techniques. The prize for the clean water category went to the Guardians of Water, who through collaboration with the Perenskat Indigenous community, developed a ready-to-assemble solar-powered desalination device. The team also developed a comprehensive education strategy to help the adaption of the technology in the arid La Guajira region of Colombia. In addition to the $10,000 prize, the winners will also receive guidance and support through the E4C network and subject matter experts at Siemens. They will be showcasing their designs at the Tech Gallery at Impact Engineer 2020 on December 3rd through 4th. Registration for this virtual event is now open. To view the finalists, the awards, and winning videos, visit the Engineering for Change YouTube channel. This year, two new competitions have been added to an already comprehensive lineup of events at ASME's Engineering Festival Digital 2021, both with a focus on the environment. Participating in competitions enables aspiring engineers to foster innovation, connect with peers, and gain valuable hands-on experience. For many students and early career engineers, these competitions showcase technical and business skills around exciting technologies. The new events are ASME Reboat, a global competition that focuses on the design and the racing of a remote-controlled boat that runs exclusively on solar. And the second is the ASME Environmental Technical Oral Competition, sponsored by ASME's Environmental Systems Technical Division. This event is open not only to undergraduate and graduate students, but also early career engineers. You can find all the details, including registration and training webinars, online at the ASME eFest website. Now let's take a look at virtual events coming this fall. ASME's largest research and development conference, IMECI, is being held in November, virtually for the first time. ASME Robotics for Inspection and Maintenance Summit featuring live demos, case studies, and expert discussions will be in December. To get more information on these events and to participate, visit asme.org. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.